Matt, did I tell you I almost ate a bar of the shroom chocolate? Oh yeah, on she the almost counter. ate shroom chocolate. Oh, Mom, save it. <laughs> Save it. We'll get That's to it. You, exciting. And no, listen, I'm a lightweight. That would have really fucked me up. Mom, you're gonna, you're gonna, Mom, you're gonna have to repeat all that. Okay. 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 Remember. So it. just save Hold it because I, I want you to. I want you to say it for the first time. I looked at the ingredients <laughs> and I was expecting to see like. <laughs> I was expecting to see like mushrooms Mom. on there. <laughs> Wait, we should just start. That's fine. Let's just right. start. Let's just start. <laughs> yeah. She wanted us to do a warm up without her so she could get used to, but she right. just started talking. <laughs> Throwing out some heaters. You know what? Let me. <laughs> let me just let me just start right here. Yeah. Yeah. I need more alcohol. <laughs> Maddie, you have to give me something else. Here. Mom, let, let's guess mom, whose mom is here. <laughs> mom, go to the kitchen. <laughs> okay, mom, we're gonna start so you can't talk for okay. the next fifteen minutes. Okay. <laughs> just us. We're just banter between yeah. us. Okay. Yes. All right. All right. Are we all ready? Yes. Ready. Let's Perfect. do this. I'm excited. <laughs> okay. <laughs> mom. <laughs> She's so excited to jump in. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> All right. Well, before we start, Heath and I want to let, let you guys know that we have a Patreon page now. Oh, fuck. <laughs> God damn it. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. I have to get rid of all this paraphernalia. Um, paraphernalia. Okay. That sounds like a dirty word. Uh, it's a interesting word. What What is that again? Like drugs? And like, yeah, just like things pipes. that are used to do drugs. Like a pipe or like a grinder, a scale. Got it. It's such a why is such a compl complicated word. Paraphernalia. Mom, <laughs> we are vibing. We're not part of this. <laughs> just just start it with. You know, it. it's because she's drunk already. She's Stay 100 percent drunk of this. already. <laughs> start this. Start, uh, start guys, it. that's my mom. We have to. We're doing it like a 15 minute intro before we introduce her. But my mom. That she requested. Right there. That, she re <laughs> <laughs> that she requested. That she requested. She keeps talking. She is here with us today. Obviously, she's been with us for the past like five years. Five days. <laughs> I feel like we're like kids putting on a show for your parents, and they keep trying to like interject. Yeah. Like stop! Mom. We're doing our show. So my mo my mom is our special guest for this episode. So woo! Woo! yeah, I know, but but wait, <laughs> there's more. <laughs> there's more. We have a Patreon page now. It's yes, patreoncom slash Zane and Heath. Now we have all of our tiers combined into one, which mm -hmm. is five dollars, where That's we have right. high episodes and live Q and A's. That's right. You also get access to this podcast a couple days early. You're gonna get it without any ads, so you can you know that is the best part. Enjoy huh? it ad free because we put about thirty five in each episode. <laughs> So get that back. But yeah, people are loving it. A lot of you guys have been joining the past two weeks and yep. we're so happy to see you. So we also have a private discord that we can chat with you guys in. You can mm -hmm. send in any recommendations, topic ideas, and uh, basically <laughs> hang out with us. We need to get on that, Mariah. I know. Oh, we're, we want to come up with a, a euphoria discord chat so we can Ooh. all talk about oh, the show good. together every Sunday, All right, good. which I thought would be really fun. Well, but we haven't done that. Well, since your mom watched it with us, she's got to be part of our. Oh, recap. yeah. You we watched got an episode. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to it. We'll get to it. All right. Okay. Here we go. Let's just jump in. All right. Now. It's coming to baby. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Kick us off, Heath, baby. Oh. What's going on, baby? Welcome back to Zane and Heath Unfiltered. I'm Heath. I'm Zane. I am Matt. I'm Mariah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, <laughs> us. <laughs> it's like a, one of those old workout videos. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's do it. And we are unfiltered. Welcome, guys. Hope you're having a wonderful Monday and Tuesday. This is special super episode. special. This is this is a first. Uh, we actually have Zane's mom here on the show today. Mm -hmm. This is Sherry. Hello, oh, Sherry. Sherry. <laughs> AK, mommy. Mommy, dear. Heath and I, we've been thinking about having our moms on here, but we've been yeah. too scared to do it. And honestly, we thought you'd be too, you'd be too scared to be my, on my, this show. I don't think my mom could ever. So props to you for oh. being able to get up in this <laughs> well, room hope you, and Well, hopefully record. your mom you can see this and then maybe have she Have a will little bit of like- Dip her toes in a little bit. Right, yeah. exactly. I got stories. Good. You have, you have stories prepared? I hope we get into a lot Good. of it. Okay. Well, yeah, guys, this is my mom. She's been, she, you know, she's the one that delivered birth to me on November 18, 1992. <laughs> but Cherry, you've been visiting LA for how many days so far? Five. Five. And have you been enjoying all of it? Every bit. Oh, great. Good. And you've been here before. You were, you're here like three, four years ago, right? I've like been at, here twice. At the Denny house, the Denny day, she was here for like a week. Oh, what an upgrade. Uh -huh. Wow. Yeah. And we, we were... I feel, I feel bad back then. What? I feel bad that she came during that time. That is. I know, but that was like our, you know, that, that was our. The dog days. Yeah. Are over. <laughs> she really got to see us at our all time worst during right. those days. Because are, are we, we better? That? No. 
Are we better now than you You're remembered? Far better, yeah. Okay, good. Oh, Thank that's you, good. Mom. When were you Appreciate the that. when were you the most concerned about Zane uh, when he was out here in L.A.? Oh, there's I can hit. never concerned when he was out here. My most concern was the day he was leaving. Oh, mom. Oh, he must not tell you a lot. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I don't tell her a lot. And I actually I'm so glad she does not sit there and watch these episodes too, because, because yeah, because uh -huh. I because I know my dad tunes in sometimes and I hate yeah, it. I don't like knowing because I don't want you guys watch. knowing every single thing that I'm doing because I'm very open on this it does podcast. feel I weird everything other parents can't watch their kids go to work you know exactly. right and, yeah and be over their shoulder watching what they're doing on a computer being like saw you inputted those numbers wrong in Excel <laughs> yeah we well, what everything we, we do is so front-facing you know I know everything and it's is not even like internet. to the point where like my parents see it it's like my parents friends see it and yeah. they bring it to their attention like yeah. did you see yeah. that mm -hmm. and then they have to be even more on top of it so they can know how to avoid or so sherry deflect. are you are you actively watching all zane stuff or are you just like ah i'll see it when i not see it not all of it yeah. i do watch but not all of it what okay. so what are you what are you watching i, I know you're watching my stories because you're always like commenting and shit and i hate that you look watch my drunk stories because it's just like the most i have you in person why would you <laughs> no i know <laughs> no i know but like because stories can like show so much, but also so little at the same time. Like on a Saturday night, if I don't go out, I'm not like posting all my stories ever. But then one Saturday night, I'm posting 10 stories and I'm just drunk. Yeah. And so people just think that, oh, Zane's just drunk all the time. And that's what he's, he, that's what he does every day. I know. You it's like it. when you see a little bit, you just think that's what that person is. Because we're posting the, the most entertaining parts yeah, of our exactly. day or our week. So it looks outrageous. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. there are some people that would think that about you. But I think most people know you as what you are. You have a big heart. <laughs> Which is, oh, <laughs> it sounded <laughs> negative first. No, <laughs> they know what you, you are. You have a big heart. You're a great guy. You like to have fun. And you're not always fucked up. That should be your, <laughs> that should be your Raya bio. That should be my yeah, Instagram bio. <laughs> yeah. I'm change that. Yeah. Say For that, dating say apps. That, that sounds nice. Yeah, well, say, remember that so I can write that down so I can put it, put it on my tombstone. <laughs> Big heart, not always fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> is your bio still for your Twitter? Like this account is managed by my like parents legal, legal guardian. Oh, that's like no, that. I had that for a long time. Like I took it down like two, three years ago because it was so funny to me seeing like Maddie B raps and like the Jojo C was managed by parent, managed by parent slash guardian. I thought that was right. the funniest thing because yeah. you don't really need, you do have to put that kind of, but like, I just thought it was the funniest that's thing. Really I wonder funny. if they do that for legal purposes because you're Probably. technically not old enough to be using the platform. Yeah, that's exactly right. why they do it. And yeah. for creeps, just to know that it's an adult behind the screen, not a kid. So don't you be know, like you know, Maddie B raps is sitting there tweeting. Oh shit. yeah, it ain't, it ain't his mom and dad. So let's, yeah. uh, so Sherry, let's get to know you. Should we get to know like you as her mother, or like what she is oh, up to now? Absolutely, I have questions too, and I know you're my mother, and I know everything. But like, there's he what? finally gets to open up and have a conversation <laughs> with you. Oh no, there's a, no, there's a few things I want to open up that me and my mom have never talked <gasps> about. But can I drink? You're yes. Gonna need a Look, drink. I, how many sips have I taken during since we've started? Many, Hold many, on, many. And I'm gonna cuss. <laughs> that's, that's a, I'm a, she's hiding the shot oh, glass behind her cup. So no. <laughs> Revealed. Kids, younger kids. Picks them up this at the same water. time. Water, water. Let, let's let's talk about what you do. Yes, because that start. that good is the start. most interesting, interesting, like coolest thing ever. Well, I'm a firefighter paramedic. <laughs> Wow. Thank you, Thank you Thank for you. your right. service, Thank Mama. You. Essential worker. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And I will give a shout out to all first responders, mm -hmm. military, police, and fire. Oh, thank you, mom. And how long have you been doing that for? 22 years. Wow. wow. And you also used to work in the office at the fire state, right? Was that like a part I of your job too? I worked in administration for... Thirteen years. Oh wow, a huge part then. Wow. I did. I did. But I've worked many a fire, many uh Medical calls, fire calls. Mm -hmm. What's the what's the biggest dragon you ever slayed? On fire? Yeah. yeah. Probably a house fire. Now, do you get to slide down a pole? Ever? <laughs> is that real? At the station. At is the that, station. Is that a serious question? Yeah. Is there are there poles at the station? Like poles that go from we the top floor to the. We actually had once one of our older stations had a pole, and I think I did slide down the pole. <laughs> <laughs> For work purposes or yeah, for fun? Yeah, work purposes. Uh -huh. <laughs> How I, many of the firefighter males there have a mustache? Kidding. Other than Zane's brother. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I just his, found out wow. why they he have mustaches. It, by the way. Oh, he did? Good. Why do they have mustaches? And let's see if Sherry yeah, tell me if uh, I'm right. says if he's right or wrong. Is because they can't grow a beard because the their mask won't have the right clothes? 
like the suction, like, like the seal. Right fit. Yeah, it won't have like a like a proper seal, a seal, and that's the only hair that can grow on their face that goes under it. Oh wow! Is that true, Mom? It is, and a lot of the guys do it for November. Okay. Oh, oh. got it. I know, Mom. You told you told me a lot of stories about you as a paramedic. There, you don't share those stories publicly, right? Like um, stuff that she's seen. Uh huh. No. No. <laughs> is there any that you can share? That are safe. I don't. I like, think because she's still you, there. Do you, even, do you no, have no, a silly no. one? Like any silly calls? Oh, there are many silly. A cat calls. in a, a tree. A cat in a tree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've had cats in trees, parrots in trees. <laughs> oh wow! Wait, that's what? really funny. Yeah. Mom, do you just, do you guys just show up time? You're just like. <laughs> I feel like this is there's like a, there's a. <laughs> Like you know bring what? your parent to like school day and we get to like ask questions yeah. about what a firefighter I does. I feel really bad, but yeah, parent in a tree is a hard one. I, <laughs> yes. I, at midnight, I jump off the truck and I'm like, are the wings clipped? <laughs> <laughs> and their answer was no. And I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> I'm like, okay, so. When so we what's pulled the up with our here? big fucking truck, the lights and sirens. <laughs> oh, so going. embarrassing. Like the chances are that your fucking parrot <laughs> flew away. <laughs> oh like, yeah, that sound. That's and they're really like, no, right. you gotta pull the ladder and you gotta ladder the tree. And I'm like, no. It's crazy that you call firefighters for a job like that. That sounds like something like a task rabbit would they, do. Do yeah. you have to get fully dressed for everything or do you no, judge it by the call? No. Oh, okay. It's, Imagine it's showing up. <laughs> oh, I thought you actually dressed like that everywhere. You, Cause know. I've seen people in firefighter yeah, outfits yeah, yeah. grabbing cats out of trees. No, I thought that was- That's just for fire calls, fire alarms actual fires or smoke. Got yeah, it. firefighters gas, do get called for calls. a lot of interesting things. Yeah. When we got stuck in the elevator, firefighters pulled us out. And I thought that was the most interesting thing. Because they would have the tools they like had, open. They had the tool. Yeah. Nobody it's else would really have the tools. actually a big tool. The tool's about this big. Oh, they have the tool. The, what, what is it? The, <laughs> the jaws little, of life? It's a little elevator key and it's about this big. But I would just with think. a little loose end that you. No, I would that think is, the service for the elevator company would come out and do that. We were also stuck in there, like in the middle of the night. That's our heroes. True. Yeah, our heroes. <laughs> and let me tell you, I was embarrassed when they got us out. <laughs> yeah. it but it got bad. stuck on you. It's not like you made it stuck. Did you press? Yeah, but. Don't feel embarrassed. It's just, you're vulnerable. That's, that's our job to do that. So you don't have to feel embarrassed. They were giving us a weird look. There's a couple, Um, I want to put it up here. There's a couple pictures that I've seen that you sent to me of you taking, uh, or like, um putting out a fire, like a car that was on fire. Cool. I remember you sending me those pictures. Those pictures were the coolest pictures I've ever seen. Cause it's like really? the, just I seeing you, you at like remember. a car like that, just doing your thing. I that was cool. See. I show everybody that picture. I want to see. What? Oh, I don't have oh, it. I'm oh. have to show you after. What? But everybody else gets to see it right now. Okay. What are the most common reasons for house fires? Is there like something that you wish you could tell people like, yo, be on. Space off. heaters. Space heaters. Really? Like the, the ones that you mm. plug in. Space heaters and candles. Oh. oh. I would have never thought space yeah. heaters. Mariah. <laughs> <laughs> and are the space heaters usually just like electrically malfunctioning or someone put a blanket over it accidentally and then it caught on fire? Or they fall over. Oh, they're wow. very lightweight. They're right. very lightweight. Wow. And if you trip on the cord or pull mm. the cord or something, they fall over and they get really hot. Oh my. Do you have somebody at your department that does the like forensic fire like aspect hit, uh, yeah. to, to, to determine if it was an accidental house fire or if it was uh, That's like done on- typically done by the state. Oh, okay. Like what gotcha. is it called, arson? I believe we have one guy that is actually certified for everything. Um, but we usually call in state inspectors for stuff like that. Gotcha. That's the most interesting thing, how people could come in and find where the fire started, how it started, Even though it's if it was on purpose. Even though like, it's burnt to the ground. Yes. That's, that's so crazy. And they can. They can, do everything yeah. And figure it Have out. you ever gone out on, you know, to put out a fire and you've discovered something like illegal? Like it was like a meth lab or <laughs> something oh, that was like a, yes. I don't know. Whoa. Yeah. What? Oh. Yeah. I bet, because like We've meth had labs catch us. All kinds a of in Florida, a meth lab? No, no way. way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, sh sh Sherry. Uh... <laughs> Wait, is that's that all that's that word? <laughs> is that all the firefighter questions we have? Yeah, so, so, Sherry, what were you up to when you were Zane's age? Oh, shit. What was young Sherry like? I was in school. School studying? I got hired when I was 30. Oh, okay. But so. you had me already when you were 30, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's you, crazy. And you probably don't even remember. When I was in school and when I first got hired, I used to have to drop you and your brother off to preschool. You went to preschool and then you went to school. 
you were in aftercare because I was in pro recam and I didn't get off until like 530 and I got my ass handed to me. Like they made us swim swamps and fucking chop wood until we were like half Damn, so you probably had to spend money getting to us to all these things because you had to send, like, don't don't you have to pay for like those after school? You do, but- It's not crazy. It wasn't out of reach, yeah. Got it. It was just the the physical aspect of Mm -hmm. it. Yeah, and the hours you had to put in, we just have have to- to to deal with Zane once you got off. I was a a (laughs) bad- Who was the better son? I was a bad kid. Yeah, who was was the better- Better no, kid. you weren't a bad kid. I thought you told me that like, no, oh, he was an angel. you had colic when you were a kid. And I'm sorry. Like, like you just cry a bunch. You, you cried got, a lot. When but you even when I was like a little older, I was always really bad. Like remember I did like what I did at Disney I World? I wouldn't call it bad. You just were an ornery kid. Want to know what I did at Disney World once when what? we all went? Hell yeah. <laughs> they took me to Disney World for the first time and it's supposed to be a magical place. You know, how, everyone's how old happy. You? How old was I when I was at Disney World? That you mean w- when I choked you? Yeah. <laughs> I no, was, we don't use corporal punishment. <laughs> I was screaming at Disney World. Disney. My grandma says this story every time we see her. She says it like we never heard it before. So that's how I know this story so well. We were in line for a ride and you were a little bit unhappy. <laughs> and- you were a little unhappy and... um. Creating a little bit of a scene. I was so, screaming. And I didn't <laughs> choke you. Of course, I was kidding. I took you by the back of the neck. <laughs> <laughs> and Shut I up. just kind of led you out of line. And you were like, ah, you're choking She's me. killing me. <laughs> Somebody help me. She's no. killing me. <laughs> and my hand Zane. was on the back of your neck. And you were like, you're choking me. That's it's terrible. Over dramatic. Oh, you would have been like on TikTok the next oh, day. Yeah. Like someone would have filmed that. Oh, just yeah. Like, it's so interesting. Did you see that uh, video? It was a TikTok of a guy walking by a door and he oh, yeah. hit the door almost like the baby hit the yeah, hand. I and the baby started crying oh, like it. There's yeah. many of those. It's they do so that as a interesting test to me. The know. way they're crying is like they're they got like hurt the, yeah. so bad. There's another one where the guy like hits his own chest and he's like <clears throat> and then the baby's like <clears throat> like thinking it was getting spanked. Is it the sound or I think it it's, just the, it's an energy shift? Like yeah. of, of people being like, oh, are you okay? Yeah. Oh. That's why if a kid and just falls go, down, oh. you, know you don't I'm ask mad? them if they're okay. You and you're not really like, oh, oh it no. Is. Wait, wait, what'd you say? Oh. It is an energy shift. Yeah. It that's... absolutely, with babies, with infants, it absolutely is. Because mm-hmm. that's all they're used to. And they go, oh, that's what ha- I was crying last time when all these people were like the- reacting if they actually were hit or they actually yeah. did bump into something. Or just like, don't even don't even say anything. Just like, oh, you want a cookie? Like, you don't even yes. react to what just happened. Yeah, you don't react. Bring them to the kitchen. Nice, good one. If you react, they Just, react. Oh, you right. reward them. It's yeah. like almost a reward dude, <laughs> for them to get hit like that. Open so I'm always so interested with like, and I think a lot of people are about like Zane, you know, he kind of grew up like in kind of two very different households, but it all came from like you, your biological dad and your mom here. Um, I'm just curious, like, uh, yeah, how that came to be. Like, what? how old were you? I still you have met, a lot like, of questions, dad? mom. I don't think I've ever really <laughs> fully asked you or my dad about, like the early stages in that, like the divorce and where I went from there. I still like, I don't know why I never asked. I don't think I was ever comfortable asking those questions. Now's the time. But now's the time. On camera. Yeah, on camera. <laughs> Thank you, son. And it doesn't have and to be also, you can make it as, Where do babies come from? <laughs> you can make it like as broad as possible. You don't have to get like nitty with the details. Just I'm like- I'm totally kidding. When your father and I separated, we actually, I'm sorry, we lived together in the same house for quite some time, yeah. probably several years. So you were still with the two of us. We just weren't at the house at the same time. Um, and when we actually separated- you were back and forth. I would say pretty much 50-50. How old was I at this time? Like when it first, first started around six? Yeah, yeah. You, elementary school. You didn't convert to like the Muslim faith or anything like that early on in your marriage at all? I don't think- I did not. Well, no. that's what I'm interested in. Yeah, no, she never know. did. They were always separate with the religion, but I think that's what made it so difficult was the religion. Cause I know that was difficult for me like growing it, up. You know, it, it was difficult, <clears throat> but it wasn't impossible. It, right. it, um, he wasn't super religious, I guess, until a little bit later. And even then it wasn't like he was super religious. I, I hate to say it was religion that split us up. Cause I don't feel like it was, I feel like it was more just, um, 
the things we enjoy doing. Right. But, but I feel like that is due to religion. Like, it, I feel like it, because it, 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 kind it, of values of yeah, where you want to spend values. your time and right. what you want to focus it on. Exactly. Does. I just hate to label it religion because I'm not that There's person. More to and it. I, yeah. I don't believe that your father was either. It just, you said it very well. It yeah. was just the things that you enjoy doing together ultimately end up being very different because of the religion, yeah. but and it's not the actual religion that made us different. 10 years ago, when I was still going back and forth, it was, we were doing completely different things. I was doing completely different things with you and I was right. doing completely di different things with my dad. Like right. it was a different life. Almost. And I, and I feel like <clears throat> I so overcompensated with that. It, it was so weird because there were so many rules to it. And yeah. I feel like when they came with me, I tried, I had to follow the rules of your dad because I wanted to respect that. Yeah. It's just a strict but religion. But at the same yeah. time, try to break outside it, but be within those parameters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's a balance. It's like a fine line. Right. Yeah. And I, and I asked and those questions. it's hard because the food was difficult. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I don't even want to make it sound negative. I, please. well, no, it, 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 if it, I you're, you're a Christian anything, though. Yeah. It's a completely want different lifestyle. Negative because it's not a negative thing. It's not negative. It's what you're just doing. different. Right. Yeah. yeah. And so I, it's hard when you're trying to respect somebody else's ways of life. Mm -hmm. And I was trying to raise you and your brother with respect of your dad's religion. Yeah. Yet bringing my religion in respectfully. Yeah. Which, yeah. which I still think you did a really good job balancing it out too, because I still, I got more of the Muslim culture in me when I was growing up, but I, I wanted to be more just like having the, I'm, I wouldn't even say Christian religion, just more not so strict. With my, with my, how, well, how do I say this? I'm, I'm trying to say a, a, a it in like different, a, like values based of how you choose to operate the choices yeah, you have in your I lifestyle. I want to be able, now. I want to be able to eat whatever I want. I want to be able to hang out with whoever I want. I want to be able to like, just have a free life. What was important to me was for it to be your choice. Yeah. Right. I wanted 100% for you to see everything that your dad had to offer and your stepmom, and for you to experience that and, and live it. Mm-hmm. And also live the way that I was living respectfully and make your own choice. Yeah. And you did a really I good job. I never that. wanted you to feel like you had to choose one or the other. Because even when, even when I would see you and I said, I couldn't eat certain food, you, you like still were like, yeah, of course, like we'll go somewhere else. Like you, you did meet when I was asking, you did meet my needs when I was asking, could we not eat this? And could we not eat that? Right. And so I was you were still like, shopping in the stores for you to get the halal meat. Nice. Hal halal, halal meat. It's halal? It's halal meat. <laughs> she said the halal, the halal meat. It was not easy. The halo it meat. It wasn't easy and I still yeah. did it. No, I it wasn't because I was really trying to follow the religion, but it got to the point where my head was like, oh, do I is, do I really want this? And you know, it's, I'm such a rebel at times. I can't believe <laughs> I even, I wanted to do the right thing by you and your brother and your dad. I and definitely got that hard. rebel side from you. Fuck, I am such mm -hmm. a rebel. Like, I'm like, fuck that. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> okay. Like, hold on. The apple doesn't fall far. Like, <laughs> yeah. I am such a rebel, but I really tried to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. I tried to be a good person. Was Zane like a little showman at all? Like younger? Like, are you surprised no. by what he's doing okay, now? Okay, hold on. Yeah. We gotta spend five minutes on this. <laughs> okay, good. Please do. Because. I'm sweating. I'm no, fucking nerv he nervous. He is an introvert. When he was young, he was such an introvert. He was very shy. In fact, I had multiple teachers when he was in elementary school call me because he was such an introvert. That's so interesting. I can't was imagine he, that. Was he funny? Though? Like No. Nothing. No. I had nothing. Oh. Nothing. When when did you start noticing? Uh, a, a shift in that to him being more outgoing and when you guys started filming with Vine, what's up, man? Yeah. Wow. He was waiting for that. He was waiting for that answer. <laughs> yeah, before that, show. honestly, even before becoming your friend, I was I was always an introvert. I never went out. I never I never like sat next to kids in high school, middle school. 
I was it's so, always. It's interesting oh. though because I've always known you as being funny. You were always. That was after you, were, you. Oh, I got that. I got that funny from you, baby. I got. <laughs> I got it from you and my dad because my dad's really funny. Yeah, you're like the exact mix of your parents. Yeah, mm -hmm. like you have her excitement and your dad's humor. Yeah, and both of their good looks. <laughs> yeah, you look just like both of them. It's like, yeah. Crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, 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 right. <laughs> no, uh, I, you do like. Yeah, no, you're an attractive he, person. It is he a very... actually, his dad's brother, Nasser, he looks very much like his dad's brother. Oh, yeah? I and it. I got grandpa's hair. <laughs> <laughs> or lack of it. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our sponsor of this episode, Away. Guys, it's time to start taking trips and going on vacations again, whether it's a trip to the corner store, a weekend away, or an extended stay with friends and family. We're all navigating the current reality of travel. But no matter your destination or style, Away's suitcases, bags, and accessories all come in a variety of colors, sizes, and materials <laughs> to suit your needs and inspire your future travels. Sorry, I'm right now I'm <laughs> presenting the bag and I'm I saw you picking Heath. it up in the corner of my eye. <laughs> Guys, I'm not gonna lie, Heath and I use Away bags everywhere we go. I've been using these bags for the past like six seven years they're they're honestly my absolute favorite they're so durable so lightweight and they make it so easy because they have little compact straps that you can pull and tighten down inside to to you know s secure your your clothing in the bottom yeah. it's honestly such a great feature and another feature that i love about these bags is that they have a charger in them too yep, right so at the you, top. you always have a charger on the go if you ever need to charge mm -hmm. your phone or you need to charge anything that requires charging yeah look at this Real sturdy. It just makes you feel good and feel safe because they have a have a little uh code. What do you call these? A code lock? Uh, yeah, a little lock right here on little, top. You put your own little uh, code into it, and then only you can open it. And also, you can also have a key too. So if and you, and it's uh it's TSA approved. Do you do you get the same feeling every time you walk into the airport and you see somebody else with an away bag? It's almost like like a Jeep wave type. I know thing. it makes you it makes you, you just want to give them like a you, little head you nod. Look, like everybody that has one, and I see them, they, we look at each other, and it's like you got an away bag. It's this like bond you get. It's it's really. It's like you're part of the crew, you know what yeah. I mean? All the way suitcases are designed to last a lifetime with durable exteriors that can withstand even the roughest of baggage handlers. And like I said before, every suitcase comes with an interior organization system that includes a built-in compression pad to help you pack more in and a hidden removable laundry bag that separates your dirty clothes. And they also have four 360-degree spinner wheels guarantee the smoothest roll even through the most hectic of airports and stations. You can get it in polycarbonate, aluminum, and a durable nylon and you can get it in any color or size that you would like. And they all will have that TSA approved combination lock to keep your belongings safe. Again, Away products are designed to last a lifetime. So if any part of your suitcase breaks, Away standout customer service team will arrange to have it fixed or replaced. You'll also get a hundred day trial on everything that Away makes. Take the product out on the road, live with it, travel with it, even get lost with it for a hundred days. If you decide it's not for you, you can return any non-personalized item for a full refund during that period. No ifs, ands, or arteries. Asterix. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Away offers free shipping and returns on any order within the contiguous US, UK, Europe, and Canada. Start your 100-day trial and shop the entire Away lineup of travel essentials, including their best-selling suitcases at awaytravel.com slash unfiltered. That's awaytravel.com slash unfiltered. Thank you, Away. We love you so much, and we love your bags, and we will still continue to use your bags for the rest of our life. So I, I wanted to uh, ask about Zane being a, a bad kid in high school and things that you busted him with that he doesn't know <laughs> still yes. that you just that you swallowed and kept to yourself without bringing up not gonna lie mom this is the main reason why we wanted to bring you to this uh I'm podcast so room today because like he thought he got away with something right. to this day and she's like no I know about that I know there's there's things that I didn't get away with obviously you caught me grounded whatever which I also want to get into detail about those because we you never sure have. You want me to say all these things? Yes, is yes, it, this yes. Is unfiltered, yeah, baby. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. They don't call you Sherry for a reason, baby. <laughs> Sherry, let's yeah. go. Okay, okay, okay. Let me get a sip. I'm excited. Because there's a few things. Oh, how much you know is that? I'm so excited. I'm hot. Expose him. Okay. Um. <clears throat> so, mom, what was it that you caught that I did that I don't know to this day? Because I have a few. Oh, well, man. they use condoms that you forgot to flush down the toilet. Shut no! up. Perhaps that's where we should start. Oh, my <laughs> God. How do you forget to? That's just mom. Madison's right there. My little sister's watching. Mom, she's 16. 
<laughs> I wasn't the one that forgot to flush him. You, oh, high school, my. You were getting it in high school, huh, Zay? He I, was, yeah, I was. He I was. was. He was on. trying them on to see what they thought. <laughs> I, know, I did that did. for the first time. I did we all, we time. all did it. <laughs> I was That's what it so feels funny. Like. Hold on. There was a lot of crunchy towels. Oh, oh no. Like, that shit would be standing up. <laughs> like, 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 a of, like a pair of starched, oh, starched pants. Like a just, damn Christmas tree. Like, you couldn't throw that shit in the laundry basket? That, I, I, thought mean, I thought I did. And I thought I hid them pretty well from you. <laughs> why, Mom, why are you looking through my shit? Why are you looking at my bed? Like, my side of the okay. bed. Am I allowed to ask a question since yes. we're yeah. questioning? Yes. yes. Always allowed. Was any of that Ella? No, Mom. Oh, my you God. Ne have, no. You've never had Mom, that's my best no, friend. No, no, we never we Not never talked. Really? Squad Ella people. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's clarify this is that. Like 15 years this ago. This is Ella, Listen, my best friend from back home. Ella. Love you, Ella. I love her. Yeah, she's great. Yeah, no, she's great. Yeah, she no, we never we never did. Then who once? was it? Yeah, it was like it was it was a, it was like a couple. Because it wasn't a it, three <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, was right. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> I was like a couple. A couple. You gotta, you gotta sneak him into the house. Don't wake up. No, when, when you saw the condoms, were you worried? Did you? Because you didn't talk about. Oh, it. there was well, no talk. No. Okay. Uh, the first thought was, as I picked it up with a, a towel, I was like, No, mom, you picked it up with your bare hands, and you know what? <laughs> nasty. I didn't sniff it or anything. I'm not that, hold on, I'm not, I'm not that kind of mom. Anyway, I lifted it up, and I was like, Ooh. Oh, okay, but he used a condom, okay. Thanks for the reenactment, Mom. I really appreciate it. Just in case I missed it. Yeah, <laughs> but really paid the picture. This is like you Nate's like mom and you for it. Yeah. <laughs> so that was one time or it was multiple occasions? It was a couple times. Damn. <laughs> I just thought, like, the thing is that it was so strict in the house, so I'm just surprised that I didn't. You're also, like, incredibly forgetful. Yes, that's true. There was probably a time or two that <sighs> Zane was comatose. After a rough night, uh, comatose. Like you're, you're you're like passed out, drunk, hungover. Oh, really? Kind of afternoonish. Oh, so afternoonish. He, he did like a what? A wake and bake, and then was high later in the day, and then was comatose. You talking or? about like a little weed? Face down in your bed, <laughs> fucking passed out. <laughs> you were so against. I mean, obviously you're against weed because it was illegal back then. Isn't it crazy how there's just weed stores you all around here is? now? I think I feel like I'm more open now than I was back then. <laughs> because back it's then, legal. I was just afraid of everything because I didn't want you to turn into a fucking drug addict. I was rarely doing that. Honestly, I'm telling you right actually, now, rarely doing we that. We had a neighbor that actually owned up to you and him taking a random pill. Oh, you know about that. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> you know about that. So now. How are you I didn't know. She, I didn't. Well, I wanted to bring. I know she knew. That was the one I want to bring up. That's not the one what that pill? I thought Hold she on. knew. She what it, what random was it? pill. So let's just say this is a very, very bad pill that a lot of people do in Florida. Um, that makes you feel ecstasy. Good. Oh, it, it makes you like, feel face down, pass it's, out. It's, it's no, no, not pa not pass out. It's more like a. Oh, so y'all didn't take it. Y'all did something. You didn't take it. Y'all. It, it, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, Some <laughs> chemistry was involved. I, I don't, oh, hold on, that's new. Okay. So oh, so so now, so hold now on. it's my, it's oh my, my God. so now it's my turn. It's my turn. So there was. Remember the time where you like um you found it in my closet and you like freaked out, right? It was like yes. that weed you found. Okay, so there was two spots in my closet. One spot was the weed. I didn't dig Wait, deep Mom. enough. No, you, you no, you did. You found the weed and then you found. Those the pills are wrapped in the thing, and you looked at both and grounded me for the weed. You didn't even give a shit about the other thing you found, and I could not believe it. I told all my friends the next day. I was like, "You're not gonna believe uh, uh, what my mom grounded me for." They're like, uh, "No way." I was like, "It was for the weed." They're like, "Are you fucking kidding me?" I don't think she could have realized what you were doing with the foil with those types. I know, of but all she had to see, all she had to do was open it. At that time, all I can say is I was more concerned of you at two p.m. Face down in your bed. <laughs> Face down, ass up. That's the way he <laughs> likes to fucking Fucking drugs. unconscious where I'm like, Zane? Zane? <laughs> Zane, are you okay? Oh, you were out. Yeah, like, but like I was- I, Out. No, I think th like that moment we were talking to me, I was probably- trying to fall asleep because I was too uh, high on weed and I didn't like weed. I smoked I smoked weed because my friends were doing it. it was Sherry, what, what, were you doing any drugs when you were younger? No. None. You, my fucking ass. No. 
No, mm. no marijuana. I do not do drugs. No reefer. Never. No, she couldn't. Come on. Well, she couldn't because this fucking is it. Work. Alcohol's it. Come on. You lived through the eighties, the seventies. No, no cocaine. No booger sugar. Nose candy. <laughs> no. Booger you sugar. Name it. You. I hold on. I've tried a few things, but I am a lightweight and paranoid. And yeah. and I feel like alcohol I can control because I can drink water and slow it down. You almost tried something new today. Your little chocolate that you found. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Well, yeah, no, I no. should I I should have let you eat that chocolate. Was, I really should have. That was accidental. That would have been an accidental poisoning. Damn. Would you would you have had to go go back to your job and be like, "Hey, no, listen. I would have called an ambulance." You would have. Yes. What? Get what? Your, your stomach pumped or something? No, I am a lightweight. You have no idea. Oh, well, how, so for, for wait, people wait, listening, when I go she, to the dentist, I tell them Novocaine, I get like a fraction of what normal people get. She oh, got I'm it. such a lightweight. And Madison can tell you, if I would have eaten one of those fucking chocolate bars. <laughs> they had they had mushrooms I in it, by the way, guys. I would have needed some major stomach pumping. Psychedelic mushrooms? It was Zane's microdosing uh, mushrooms okay. for those listening. And it was just two little things that were sitting on the counter in the kitchen. And I actually love dark chocolate. And I picked it up and I looked at the ingredients and I didn't see fucking mushrooms. I, I don't know. It's, well, it, it, so doesn't, it doesn't say it on there. It like the only word that it says that like makes you like th that, that makes it like, Oh, it's not chocolate. It, it says batch. That's the only word that I've seen on those. I think things it says where, psilocybin on it too. But, yeah, but very, very tiny. It's very hidden. Okay, but like I what probably, I noticed probably because that shit's illegal and they're trying yeah. to get that away. I am blind. I didn't I don't see blame that, you. and it had some and you psychedelic. Wouldn't, you wouldn't packaging. imagine that your son. Like, hmm, I probably shouldn't eat that, and thank God I didn't, because the very next day, I think Zane told me I was like. Oh, well, if you're craving tonight, Zane, since you're on your diet and you're eating really well, just have a little bit of the chocolate bar with dark chocolate. And he goes, mom, that's shrooms. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my no. gosh. But like if she would have eaten that chocolate, she would have had like a, a full square or two. Uh -huh. And you're not supposed to have oh, hey, like that no, much in listen, one sitting. Me? Whole bar. I would eat in the whole fucking bar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my, imagine. It, and I we, probably, once I get one, I'm like an addict with chocolate. I probably would have opened a second one. Yeah. You wouldn't have, you wouldn't have died, but you would have had like the worst the minute, possible time. No, the, in the minute world. I started to feel funky, I probably would have called 911 because I would have freaked out. I would have uh, called. I, I, I would have coached you down. I would have been your shaman. Yeah, you to have to be like, no, at that through. moment. Mm -hmm. I'd, we, I'd, me, now, me, Matt, and Todd would have probably sat you down. She would down. Fuck yeah, yeah. She would be like, what is going I on? I so like, freaked like out. Your spiritual guide, Sherry, see the light. I I wouldn't even trust you to call you because you'd have been like, Mom, you're good. Fucking calm oh, down. Oh, no. If you ate the whole thing, I yeah, would have you, driven you, should, you to go to the no, hospital. No, listen. Yeah. I would have called Madison right away. I'd been like, I fucking strong. Call the police. Call the fire. Call everybody. Fucking get me to the hospital. No, but you, you want to do a shroom trip at the hospital? <laughs> Chill out in the backyard. Oh, that's true. It, it, enjoy the cabanas. We'll bring you some water. <laughs> and, and enjoy the damn trip. You want to be there just going boop. <laughs> like with IVs in you, hell no. No, but Matt, think about it. If it's the whole the whole thing of chocolate, she would no. see monsters okay, outside. She, she's she's calling like, come help. Also, is that a parrot <laughs> in the tree? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Call the we, fire department. I know this. She's just seeing shit. <laughs> okay, hold on, Matt. You have to know me well enough to, to know that chocolate. Remember the bag of Ghirardelli's last Ooh, night? Oh, they were good. She got me hooked. No, on listen, I put away half a bag a day. A day? A day. Ooh. So that shroom chocolate would have went down really <laughs> oh, fucking yeah. fast. I can imagine. There is no like... And mm -hmm. that and that trip would have went really slow. I'm yeah. like that would, chocolate bar. Ah. That would have been yeah. like a 24 to 48 hour trip, right? Uh, that vacation. whole bar, yeah, 12 hours at least. Yeah, least that would have been in mom. That would be insane. Your whole trip would have been ruined. Did you did you never dropped acid though? Like when you were younger? Not, no, none of that. come <laughs> on. Yes, she has. Oh. I know one time. Oh, oh you're oh, a fucking liar, hey. mom. You made me seem like a drug addict. No, so you've done acid. Go. No, okay. Acid is the worst drug. No. No, it's, okay, no, it's not. Sweat. I think it is. <laughs> I've never done acid. Okay, I'm going to tell you about it. I feel like I'm sweating my ass. <laughs> yeah, you better sweat your ass. We just called your ass out. Yeah. I've never done anything. <laughs> I, I, I was with my friends, and 
you know doesn't me. make it okay. I yell, no, I yell at all my friends. I'm like, ah, I'm not doing a fucking ass. Yeah, and that's what I did with weed. And guess what happened? No, and I was yelling at my friends. I'm like, I'm not doing no job. And they literally, my friend went like this with the little square acid oh. and put it on my tongue while I was oh. yelling at him. Oh, it sounds like a lion Zane would have like told you. Yeah, yeah. No, it, no, fell, it fell, it fell on my tongue. She goes, I believe she goes, right you on. better share it. <laughs> <laughs> what, am I, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> uh, and you did it. And thank God, because I don't know, because I have really weird reactions to everything, but that was the best fucking high ever. <gasps> I literally wow. was like laughing my ass off. I was like, "Woo!" Oh my god, that's my mom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how old were you? Oh, Thirteen. Shit, no, I was probably twenty. Twenty-one. 20 yeah, twenty-one. Wow. Wow. So, any other one-time <laughs> deals? Yeah. Accidentally. <laughs> Damn, Ryan. <laughs> it was accidental. <laughs> I, I'm the only one who believed you. By the way, I was like, "Oh, I feel bad." You guys are like, yeah, that's right. Yeah, She's like, bull. "What does that smell like?" <laughs> <laughs> Like, oh, that, <laughs> no, I'll just see what it, it smelled like. <laughs> I tried weed once, but it was like a Debbie Downer for me. I yeah. hate it. Yeah, we don't like it. I literally was in a chair like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but we but we That's, do it. We do high person. episodes on it. And we do laugh our ass can off. We do it, can I we know. do another one? It all it all. <laughs> yeah, we're doing we got to do one. This it weekend. all depends on the environment that you're in, too. I feel like it's just like it's just like any other drug out there. You have to be in like a. I just felt like I like had it. a 20 pound weight in my back and I was just like, yeah, I like alcohol. Alcohol's enough Al for food. Alcohol is the only thing you can do where you can be around random ass strangers and have a good time. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our sponsor of this episode, HelloFresh. If you guys don't know what HelloFresh is, it is a food delivery service that gets you farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking Easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. HelloFresh has fit and wholesome recipes for satisfying and nutritious meals that you can feel good about with six recipes per week to choose from, including low calorie and carb conscious options. HelloFresh offers the flexibility you need to easily customize your order online or in the app. Easily change the delivery day, food preferences, and plan size, or skip a week whenever you need to. HelloFresh cuts back on time spent in the kitchen with meals ready in around 30 minutes or less. Plus, quick and easy meals, including 20-minute recipes and low prep and easy cleanup options, provide an even faster route to putting food on the table. And what I love about HelloFresh is that it's 72% cheaper than a restaurant meal of the same quality. And you can save on average over $65 per month when you order HelloFresh instead of grocery shopping. HelloFresh offers 50 menu and market items to choose from every single week, including veggie, fit and wholesome, family friendly and gourmet options, providing plenty of variety. If you're going to try HelloFresh, you got to, you have to, have to try the miso sesame shrimp and bacon ramen. It is unbelievable mm. right now. Ooh. That does sound really nice right now. Oh, and you can make cozy it at home. It's too. so easy. It's got all the directions right there for you. You're not wasting any food. And it makes you feel like you're a, a five-star Michelin chef. And it's good to just like spend quality time with your friends, with your girlfriend, with your uh -huh. family. You guys get to be in the kitchen. And you're just cooking an easy meal. And you're getting step-by-step -step on how to do it. All you got to do is go to HelloFresh.com slash Unfiltered16 and use code Unfiltered16 for up to 16 free meals and three free gifts. So guys, again, if you want to join the HelloFresh family, go to HelloFresh.com slash Unfiltered16 and use code Unfiltered16 for up to 16 free meals and three free gifts, baby. Again, thank you to America's number one meal kit for sponsoring today's episode, baby. HelloFresh. We love you. Now that yeah. you're single, have you been going to like the bars and stuff or are we on any dating apps? No. No dating apps. No dating apps. Firefighters only. My mom still. I feel, my mom still has a very busy schedule. Hot or not? Still, right? You hot wake up every day. Listen. It's firefighters yeah. hot or not? You know what? They're like my brothers, so no. Oh, so you're I not don't... into a firefighter type. No, they're my brothers. So. No, not in the, your station, but like other stations. No, they're no. no. They're your brothers. I'm it's not a, on one any apps. I work out every day. That's my life. I work out. I work. And I take care of kids. Okay. Okay. She got to take her to the and games. And that's why her skin looks so glowy. Mm -hmm. Do you know anybody? You know Jason Nash? <laughs> <laughs> You're younger than Jason Nash. <laughs> I'm trying not to respond to that. <laughs> what yeah. is that I'm drinking? Can I get another one of those, please? <laughs> Mom, yes. you're, you have a full shot. <laughs> oh. Uh, what about your dating life? Like when you were younger, were you like always having like a boyfriend? Did you date someone no. really long in high school? I don't like to date. I don't always have boyfriends. I'm, if I'm not married, I'm single. Okay. Oh, so okay. you, 
and I'm picky. So I'm that's say. where I and get listen, it. Listen, I am no beauty queen. Like I don't think I'm the <laughs> shit. I don't think anything. I just I'm picky. Zane, it's good to be picky. It's good to be picky, but also treat yourself. You you gotta drive some cars before you buy them, you know. <laughs> Unfortunately, my, I think my picker's broken. Oh, oh, mom! Is your picker broken? Well, if your picker wasn't broken, I wouldn't be here. So your what, dad was a good guy. What are all your girlfriends saying right now? They're like, Sherry, come on, you gotta get out there. Or are they just like, I don't. Know. I spend a lot of time with my friends. Yeah. I do stuff, and we have fun. We have a great time. Good. I don't not live. Don't rush anything. Well, now, well, your kids right now, they're sophomores in high school. Uh, would you ever move out of Florida and go anywhere else? I moved in with Zane already. Oh, I tell you. Oh, she she really wants to move. Like she's down to not fly. Would back you would you ever. actually move out to L.A.? 100%. I absolutely. Maddie, you want to stay? Oh, we got a house mom. <laughs> would you would you wait until governess? It's <laughs> a governess. governess. In fact, I told Zane today I can cook. I can clean. But I let me tell you, you right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay, I have no problem. With Madison that. actually wants to go to USC. Would you? Oh my god! UCLA. No, it's USC, Let's right? For uh, for rugby, no, or what? Do, or for film, for film, uh, or for, or, or rugby. Film. Wait, I rugby? heard like, I meant lacrosse. Lacro I, I get it. I get it. I get it mixed up. <laughs> would you retire and then move out here, or would you just be like, "Fuck it, I'll go now"? No, I'm semi-retired. I'm in the drop plan. Uh huh. Congratulations. Which means oh, you your grandfather did <laughs> that, huh? She's breaching. <laughs> no, no, she, she, breaching's a good word. Thank, thank you, you, Mariah. You're welcome. <laughs> I am two bad days away from. <laughs> That's never happened to me before. Good job. Good job. Here, take it. Let her. Let her have a second. Enjoy it. <laughs> go ahead. Marinate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. All right, go ahead. Okay. I am one or two bad shifts away from. Fuck off. But she's, she's gonna move out here and there's gonna be another like wildfire and we're gonna be like, Sherry, she's gonna be like, give me my coat and my helmet. I gotta go serve. I got one last fire. I'm gonna grab an axe. Serve my like, new Sherry. community. Okay, well, I'm not a lazy person. I would definitely stay busy. I would wanna work. I will totally do your laundry. Well, and that's something I did not you guys get from you. So. And Fun. live for free. Did I say wow. that? Wow. I have no problem. A live in mom. Okay. Well, I got to talk to my roommates but about listen, that. Listen, I'm not just any mom. I'm like a fucking cool, cool mom. mom. <laughs> How did I see that I knew, coming? I knew, I knew. Hold on. How did I see that coming? Wait. And not only am I a cool mom, I'm not fucking crazy. I don't like. <laughs> Nobody said anything. <laughs> Nobody shared. I don't think I embarrass you in public. Like I no, know how to behave myself. I hide when I'm supposed to. I come out when I'm supposed to. I feel to. like I embarrass you more than I'm you like a me. fucking mushroom. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, that makes very sense. I just don't want to eat them. <laughs> I just don't want to eat them. They scare me. <laughs> how was that in school? <laughs> <laughs> that makes very sense. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. That was good. Oh, oh my God. I hope I'm not a boring guest. No, no. this has been amazing. Oh, I love mom. this episode. You know, uh, yeah. <laughs> shit, I feel really bad saying this is really bad. You know, I used to take the cars out all the time, right? At night. Absolutely. Oh, you, oh, you knew that? that? Yeah. Okay. And all the parties. Is there anything that you want to clean up or clarify? Before we get to the funny stuff, I want to say serious stuff. Mm -hmm. I am so proud of you guys. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Looks like the shots got into your system. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, it's not that. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, Mom. Zane has never asked for anything from the day he left the house. Mm. Nothing. Zero. Nada. Because he's been asking me. <laughs> <laughs> no, because, because, is, because I've been asking David. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you would ask me. He's never asked me for anything. I'm like, fuck, this kid has a, nothing. He's never asked me for one dime. Because you want them to think that you're doing good. Yeah. yeah you know? Once I start asking you for stuff, that's when you start getting worried. So I can't ask you for yeah. anything. Yeah. Is that why you mm -hmm. didn't? There's never, a, there's never a point I felt like I needed. You to fuck her. No, mom, <laughs> I'm like, telling. Like there was so many times where I was like, I know he needs my help. I wish you would fucking ask me. No, I mom, money. I never needed your help. I feel like Heath and I, because Heath and I have been like, together since we moved out here. So I feel like we were really good at like supporting each other and helping each yeah, other. You out always whenever had we needed. somebody. Yeah. yeah. So I beautiful. felt like I never needed to go to you financially for anything. But I'll, I'll be honest. Like yeah. I get it too. Like I don't want to ask my parents for yeah. anything because it's, no. it's, embarrassing. You, it, it's, it's, I love when your you, mom, when you, by the way, Corey. I yeah, she you loves you too. Oh, she know. will be very soon. <laughs> but it, it's that feeling when you leave the house, you want to be like, I have something to prove. I could do this on my own. Yeah. Not that it hurts your pride, but you just kind of, 
you want to be able to prove it to yourself. Yeah. So I get like, that. Yeah. Since the day, we, like, I feel like he too, since the day we moved out, our <coughs> mate, like the one thing we did not want to have to do is to have to move back home. You know, yeah, you have you to know keep it, moving forward. Everybody at some point in their life needs help. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, absolutely. Absolutely. That was just like, I feel like a goal that we set the moment we moved out. Cause it was, it was a struggle for the first two years, but we had to keep going. We're like, did, we what, cannot stop. What did you see Zane doing? And if it wasn't for going down this track, did you always see him as, I don't know. God, that's so hard to answer. I mean, I'd be doing I that airport shit for the rest of my life. Well, honestly. no, it, it wasn't even that. You were already signed up in college up in Tallahassee <clears throat> and you already had mm -hmm. a house and everything. So when oh. you said that you were coming out here, I was like. That was awful, by the way. Yeah, no. mom, you remember situation. that whole situation, yes, right? You had to pay for that all those months. Oh, yeah. no. I had to pay for the entire year. They would not let me. I didn't even move they in yet. They wouldn't let him we, out of Yeah, it. we had both decided to go up to Tallahassee. Oh. And like we signed up for school together. And you were moving in with some one of your friends that had an extra room. Yeah. So he signed the year. And we decided to move out to here like a couple <sighs> weeks before committing to going up to Tallahassee. So we were like, oh shit, okay, let's cancel it. Like I canceled my uh, apartment. He was canceling his place, but his place wouldn't let him back out. No. So he was locked in and had to pay rent <gasps> for that entire time. No, and I pay had rent a conversation with her. Like I thought yeah. the mother to mother thing would help. She was like, uh-uh. The she, whole year, uh, the her, whole what, year. What's her name? I don't, I don't remember. I would rather not. I would, I would Wait, rather, because mom, that was mom, pretty you messed re up. You remember her name? I wouldn't. I, we could probably find it somehow. Oh, no, oh, no. no. I, thought you, I thought you knew her I name like on the spot. Her. I was like, look, and I explained the whole situation to her, and she was like, no, you got to pay. Uh, it but was then, pretty unbelievable. But then yeah. she probably she was such an asshole that if I could have climbed through the phone and fucking <laughs> scratched her eyes out, <laughs> she was such an asshole. She probably filled that room in with somebody else too, and then was getting easily, double rent easily. on no, top of it immediately. Yeah, and you got so double fucked. for the year. I mean, why yeah. not make? Look the, at him now. It had to have been the contract that I signed because uh, you is. know we didn't send it to a lawyer. We just signed it. Um, double back to what we were talking about. Oh yeah. The, the my worry about Zane and and him leaving was probably that. I felt like he was set for that. And when he dropped everything to come here, that was my only concern. There was absolutely no concern about him being funny and you two together are fucking amazing. My man, thank you. Amazing. <laughs> thank you. And the love he has for you, even through those tough couple of years, he we, would come We got a home. good thing going. He loves you. That's all I'm going to say. I love you too, baby. <laughs> Very good. I feel like we're, I feel like we're at a rehearsal. You're there. like, you, you like, kind of kind of no. went off script a little bit there, Mom. <laughs> yeah. but we got no. it. Mom, you, you hit the points. And, and one last thing. Everybody that he has met out here, you, Todd, Scott, it, just everybody, every Dave, everybody, <laughs> Mariah, Matt, I'm <laughs> sorry. Listen. Hey. You guys are like his family. Yeah. And I've said this for many years. I do not worry. Not for one fucking second. Good. <laughs> Good. Because like, we're, we're worried. You guys. <laughs> are we doing up? Oh, no, we're worried. Like you're saying, having yeah, a good day. And Matt pulls out. He's like, because there's a couple of things yeah. we need to talk you to You know about. what? You guys worry together. You uh -huh. love each other. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. There is nothing better. I love that about you guys. Yeah. And if there's anything, it probably has nothing to do with me as a mom, but I have to say all of my kids have like a core of friends that are family. Mm -hmm. That's all you can ask for. I either fucked it up really bad and everybody, their <laughs> friends are like their family. <laughs> no. Or I did it right. Whichever one it is. You guys are like family, and I love that. I Thank love you. it. I love mom. it for him because yeah. he's really happy. You did. Yeah, and he mm -hmm. dealt with a lot of fucked up shit. His brother dealt with a lot of fucked up shit. I mean, his brother took care of him, mm -hmm. and I'm so grateful for it. They turned out great. Hey, you strong. raised an exceptional family, both on with these two boys and the kids you have Absolutely. now. No, we're not living. They're out, baby brilliant. <laughs> when I went to Alaska and getting to know your family, I loved. All of it. Oh, that was oh, such and a And by fun the trip. way, all of us feel so very bad because you didn't come for the first part of the trip. He missed right? the best part. You missed the best part I of the trip. I didn't want to go on that first it was part so of the fun, trip. Though. Ali feels, Ali and Natalia both feel so horrible 
because our Alaska trip was so amazing. <laughs> that, and hold on. Except for that fucking cheap ass cruise fucking cruise they loved it but we were we were talking they about it like it, it being what it was made it so much more Better. fun so much and talk about rememberable. we have to do it again we climbed a glacier <laughs> we went rappelling off a glacier mom it was chill. i made my money back in the casino i paid for my whole trip from that cruise oh I yeah like, i really? walked up 800 we were, 900 bucks i paid for the whole thing okay. so i have no regrets and if, if anything we walked away with just the best inside jokes and stories yeah. from that we talk yeah, about that cruise glad. story maybe every three months yeah. we like bring it back it. and we just okay. like talk oh, no, about I'm that. Fond of it come on you know what was embarrassing the poor fucking lumberjacks i know we're standing on the side like <laughs> I and know. they had like 50 people waiting in line to get pictures for you. And the lumberjacks have nobody, nobody, oh, right? Madison, egg. am I exaggerating? We, Madison and I were dying. Yeah, they need the two shows a day. The poor lumberjacks were like, who yeah. are these fucking guys? I could see you with a lumberjack. <laughs> nobody wanted the lumberjacks. <laughs> there was one more thing I wanted to bring up. Uh, one situation that I want to bring up, which was a huge part of my childhood and the one, um, and the punishments that you know that I received while living with you. Um, remember the time where you grinded me for a straight month? For what though? Oh, you don't remember? The, <clears throat> remember this was like our, your biggest like. In yeah, trouble. this was like the oh, <laughs> injections <laughs> <That's> through the roof. <laughs> my, saying, my mom was ready to eject me out of this seat once I'm done. Um, remember when our neighbor, the parents were gone, so my friend threw a party at the house while the parents were gone. Same. And Robert was in charge of looking yes. at the house, but we didn't know that. <gasps> so, so he throws this party, right? He wanted this to be the biggest party that he's ever thrown because, you know, he, your friend, he just, yeah, he, it was my friend. And he, uh, and I would told him like, Oh, I have friends in my school. You have friends at your school. Let's bring everybody together and let's just have this giant project X rate. just came out. Everybody thought they can have oh the next. Exactly. Project X. Parents are out of town. All right. Let's buy all this alcohol, right? Like get all the alcohol, everything, just boom, just get everything ready for this party. Oh God. And um, why didn't you tell me in so, advance? Why would I tell you? Because I would have taken Robert out. Mom, I would I was <laughs> I was gonna take him out. <laughs> Mom, no, I, I would have taken I was him six, out. Mom, I was I was 16. I couldn't tell you about any of these things. Mom, I was gonna tell you, hey mom, we're gonna throw this big party with full of alcohol. You think you'd be okay with that? I wouldn't be okay, but I would at least like help you out a little. Help help me what <laughs> help us supply Zane, the alcohol. How many fucking parties have you and Ollie had at the house? <laughs> yeah, but like this is when we were like 20. Like, like this is I was young. I was Mom, I was still okay. in high school. I would have been a little more strict. But yeah. I was, and yes, you were, you were very strict, which I thank God strict. you were, but you were very strict. I think I you're was. forgetting how strict you were. And um, <laughs> and so we set up this whole party and we just started inviting everybody. There was already like 70 people at the house and there was so much more about to come. And I remember all the popular, the, so there's a few groups that were like, okay, we got to make sure this group of people come. And so we had all the popular girls from South Foundation mm -hmm. on oh, their way. Robert and fucked I was, all that And up. I was like, I was like, hey, dude, the popular girls are coming. Get ready. And we were like, we were like the losers in high school. So yeah. having a party where all these people were Super showing up. Super bad. It was like a movie. It, it really was. So that, that night was like a movie. The night. square was bad. coming. Exactly. Because when Robert shows up, party say that over. so they got there they're walking on my street right so it's like we have like a cul-de-sac and my house is here and their <laughs> house is over there and so they get dropped off in front of my house and they're walking and they call me and they're like hey zane we don't know where to go and as soon as about i'm about to tell them where to go i was i was running around the whole street the whole night because i had to hide from my house because the parents were home, but I also had to get everybody to the party. You were I was, yeah. I was TD. I'll travel, you were, travel yeah. directing the entire you night. You were doing your airport job. <laughs> yeah, hundred. My He's airport got a job. Lot of sticks. So I was running around the whole, like when the cars were coming, I was like, in, instead of passing my house, I'd be like, turn, turn this way. So I was just running this party. I picture all... you holding like a bush. Yeah. <laughs> oh <laughs> like running the girls God. across the street. Hiding yeah. Them. So I'm telling the run. So they're running and I'm, and I see the light turn on in the front door, the outside light. I was like, like oh no. Of your house. Of my house, which oh means no. someone just turned it on. And they're still walking. They're they're slowly walking, right? And I call them like, 
run your ass to the house right now. And they were not running. They were not running. They kept walking, walking. And then Robert gets out and he sees the gr a big group of girls walking straight to the house that he's supposed to look I'm scared. out for. Oh, no. And immediately I see Robert walking. I dart to the end of the street. I completely left. I left everybody. I dart because as long as I wasn't there, I'm good. Right. So selfish of me. I ran to the <laughs> end of the street. The only person that I knew that had to be out of that house was Ella. Because what was my excuse that night? Over and out. I was at so Sawgrass Mall with Ella the entire night. And then we're going to no. go back to her house. And I know she was there because, you know, setting up for the party. You know, she's one of the one of the main people that has to gather. You probably everybody. didn't have a cell phone, too. So it's not like. You oh, no. Text oh, no. Call. I had I had like the singular seller. So, you know, it took like a, a few minutes to fully get a hold. <laughs> so I immediately call her and I'm like, Ella, get the fuck out of there. Robbers outside. <laughs> oh, He's about to walk so in. That's scary. <laughs> and Ella's like, oh shit. So she runs from the back. And the moment Robert gets in, he's. No, 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 no. This no. is what I was told. I was never there, so but I was told this by multiple oh. people there. He comes in and he's just like, everybody get the fuck out. He's a former FBI agent, so you can see like how oh. he was like treating the uh -huh. situation. Grabbing the beer, smashing on the floor, <gasps> and just like I don't he know if he was hit, I don't know if he was like taking like drinks off the table and like throwing to the ground. I don't know how insane it was. I just remember everybody was <clears throat> running for their fucking life. No, I was oh running. running Ooh, that'll do it. Ooh. Robert is watching everybody run, and all of a sudden he sees a quick glimpse of Ella with her fucking flannel shirt turn the corner. Not the flannel. And he's like, "Oh yeah, that was Ella." So I remember just being out there the whole night. I see everybody running. So you never got to really enjoy this damn party. No, no, oh, it was just. It started. didn't even get started. It was. It didn't even get started. So I was sitting at the corner of the street the whole time, and I waited maybe an hour and a half, two hours, because you know I'm at the mall, so I have to like be out as long as possible. Thank God we didn't have to find my iPhone because I'd be fucked. Uh -huh. So I'm sitting there, sitting there, and then I'm like, <clears throat> and then I walk to the house. <laughs> I walk in. I think I'm good, right? Ella's right. gone. She told me, oh, I got out of there. Boom, boom, boom. So I'm like, oh, we're good. So I walk I walk into the house and I go, I turn the corner and Bob <laughs> and Robert are both in the kitchen like this. Oh, no. And I'm, See, I don't remember that. Oh, I, rem I remember this like it was yesterday. You both are sitting there and, and then my mom goes, come here. And I walk up to the kitchen and they go, where were you last, or where were you tonight? And I go, at the mall, at the mall with Ella. And, and then Robert goes, I'm gonna ask you one more time. No. Oh, that's the worst. That is the worst. <laughs> Oh Listen, my God. I'm gonna say one thing about Robert. When Robert says, I'm gonna ask you one more time, your ass better tell the fucking yeah. truth. Yeah, it's oh, such a it, man. It sucks because you don't know if it's like a tactic. Yeah, to where like you're like, okay, they obviously know I'm lying. Yo, now I'm not more. gonna say that unless he saw your ass. He's oh, but he's man. also he's an FBI agent, so maybe there's like special skills that they have where they right. just get that. people Cops, to that's and like, like a shit. Like, even if, even if they, they don't know, they're just gonna be like. Let's Give me, try this you again. Gone, exactly. You should have gone, are you gaslighting me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that sounds like gaslighting. I'm recording you. <laughs> so I was like, no, I was at I was at the party, blah, blah, blah. And I don't know what happened. All I remember is seeing them pull a broken bowl, like a weed bowl. I wasn't even, I wasn't doing any drugs, no weed. In my head, I knew I was just drinking that night. Right. You pull out this broken bowl that I've never seen in my life. And they're like, this is yours, isn't it? I was like, no, that's not mine. I don't and remember I, that. Oh yeah, no, you kept this broken bowl in that jar for two years after in that. In the jar? Why There's, there, so remember, remember, remember the, kept, remember, oh, so let's keep the pair. Remember, <laughs> remember the three the, jars you had, you had one filled with Milky Ways, right. you had one filled with like Splenda, there was one <laughs> that you had filled with shit and you had that broken bowl just sitting in a Ziploc in that jar for- I do not remember. Two years. I remember because I saw it every day. Every day. I saw it. I was like, you still have that? It's a constant reminder for you never to yeah. do it. You guys so thought that it was my my bowl, and you were so upset but I, with everything. The party, the the pipe. You thought I was- The lying. Or the the li deception. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You sent <laughs> my ass to my room, I and I could not leave my room for a month. 
straight. Bullshit. For ask her for a month straight. I, you could leave. Was, that was, was this the summer? that was like the big that was I like don't remember that was that. like the biggest punishment that like I've ever received. I remember. I remember calling Ella and I was howling. I was like, I'm fucking dead. I'm never leaving my <laughs> Are room you ever. Sure. Yeah, no, that was no, that was just like a time in my life where I was just like having a little too much fun, you know? Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this episode, BetterHelp. Guys, relationships take work, especially the most important one you can have in your life. Your relationship with yourself. A lot of us will drop anything to go help someone we care about. We'll go out of our way to treat other people well. But how often do we give ourselves the same treatment? Heath and I are coming up with so many ways to take care of ourselves, especially in the past couple weeks. That's right. These last couple weeks for Zan and I have been really hard. We're pushing our body to the limit uh, physically and mentally, which is great because we have better help to help us with our internal struggles that we've been going through. Exactly. And it's been tough. Thank you for being there for me and thank you, BetterHelp. This month, BetterHelp Online Therapy wants to remind you that you matter just as much as everyone else does. And therapy is a great way to make sure you show up for yourself. And if you have no idea what BetterHelp is, it is an online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy and you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. So give it a try and see why over 2 million people have used BetterHelp Online Therapy. Again, this podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp and Zane and Heath Unfiltered listeners get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com slash Zane and Heath. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash Zane and Heath. Thank you so much, BetterHelp, for sponsoring today's episode. We love you. And thank you for helping out our minds and making us feel okay with being vulnerable and taking care of our mental health. <sighs> Woo saw to that. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to be playing a game. A game called Best Friend versus Mom. Who Woo! Who knows Zane better? I have a set of questions here that I'm going to be asking Heath and Zane's mom, Sherry, and we are going to see who knows Zane better? Um, and so, yes, they will both be writing their answers. Challenge on. Okay. Oh, oh, Bastard. She called you Bastard. 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 I haven't been called that in years. Yeah. I'm they sorry, Corey. I love you. <laughs> I will ask the question. They will both type what they think is the answer on their phone. We will ask for their responses. Zane will confirm yes or no or what the real answer is. And we will see. Who Alrighty. really knows? Our, uh, our illustrious great, saint. Yeah, I our, hold the power here. It feels good. Okay, so the first question I have for you guys is name at least five jobs Zane had before social media and travel directing an airport does not count. Wow. Oh, you suck. So these are, yeah, these are jobs Zane had back when he was 16 as he was getting older. What, I just did that for way too long, so it's too easy. And it's okay if you can't get five. It can be maybe who has the most or which ones are the most right? You need to get the Zane five. Zane didn't work before social media. <laughs> oh, what, uh, what, what do you mean that one time we ate hibachi? He was talking about the times he worked at that one place and they didn't pay him on time. I'm giving you a slight mm -hmm. hint, but when we had hibachi up in Plantation. You both 100% right, know right. these these jobs that I had. You oh. just have to really think. Okay. Hold on, hold on. No more clues. Let me write And there down. better be no more typing once the other person is sharing their uh, their answer, Sherry. Oh Period. Oh my God, Poo. I've been drinking. What is the name of that uh, place? Uh, 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 uh. But it must be... I think it's probably going to be tougher for your mom since she has a lot of kids she has to yeah, focus but, on in her but life. But this was when he was younger, still living with her. This is before I really knew Zane. But I've but I've I've, I've talked to you about these. No, I know. This is when Zane needed your help. <laughs> <laughs> oh Very good, God. Matt. Sherry, what uh, answers do you have? Mex Cafe. Very good. I don't remember the clothing store in the Sawgrass that I used to drop you off. So there was a clothing okay. store. That is right. There was two, actually. Uh-huh. What were the two? I know one. Did I count? <laughs> a very good one. If I get it right, can, can I get for that point? Good job. Pack Sun. Very yes. good. Eh. Mom, this one, I'm All really surprised. Right. Well, then, don't Heath, know. let's see. I have, see. like, three jackets from this fucking place. Heath, let's see if you can. Well, wait. Oh, Wait. okay, okay. I he, think I think she has other ones. Or no, is that all you have? She said she only had two. Oh, okay. No, I have three because <clears throat> there was two places in the mall he worked at. Well, bitch, you don't remember. <laughs> so look, Heath. Very good. Fuck off, Heath <laughs> bastard. <laughs> Were you dropping his ass off, or was I? <laughs> Heath, you said you had. You said you had five. Let's see if those match up. 
Uh, I have Pac Sun. Okay. Correct. Forever 21. Okay. Forever 21. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, I didn't know the name, but she said it, but I have Mexican restaurant. Okay. Uh, Plantation Diner. Very correct. good. And Bonefish Grill for like a day. Well, oh. No. no. You did not no. work at Bonefish. I never worked at Bonefish. Wait. I thought you said you worked there for a my, day. That was, my, bro that was my brother. Did we all eat at Bonefish together as a group? Hey, Heath. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I Big still old. beat you. It, no, Bo oh, Bonefish, I never worked there. Was, I applied there, but I never got the job. It was and, it, it was Goofles ice cream. Goofles. Goofles. Mom, we were just we talking. We just had this conversation. It's really funny because you just brought it up at, uh, at lunch oh today. Oh, my God. And, shoot me. And you forgot it. That's I, funny. I don't know why. I thought you said you got went one day at Bonefish and, and quit. No. No, hey, I he, applied there, but hey, they he, never accepted me. No. All right. All okay. Right. Now this. But my brother, my brother worked there for years. This one may be an easy one. Okay. There's really only one answer. Uh, can I say it that way? <laughs> you kind of you kind of ruined the trick question, but yeah, sure. I don't want them to overthink. It'll take too much time. Okay. What is the sport Zane played in high school and middle school? Hold on. Oh <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Zane did not play sports in high school. That was the trick question, but he asked it wrong. I wanted him to ask it, name every sport Zane played in high school and middle school, but he didn't. It was a trick Sorry, question. Sorry, I just felt like that was like a little too overloaded. I wanted to have a little fun with their brains. Well, then, we can, then we can move on to the next question well, if you want. Well, no. Do they know the, Do they know the sport that I played? What is the sport? Zane I play. absolutely know the sport. Okay, okay Sherry, well, Zane, you didn't know where Heath, I work. So. You got it? Soccer. Soccer. Very Heath good. had soccer. Good. All right. Very so good. two for Heath, one for Sherry. Okay. How many tattoos does Zane have and what are they? Oh, uh, we don't need what are Fred, they. That's uh, not even fair. What are Matt. you know, because I hide my tattoos from my mom. So let's just let's do how many tattoos I have. How many? I'm gonna okay. say four. Okay. And Heath. Let's just give a number. I'm writing them out. Hold on. But Heath probably remembers them by what they are. That's not fair because he got them all out here. Correct. With this motherfucker. Correct. But <laughs> you dropped th them off at his jobs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but not he fair. got them Mom, here. that question was for you and this question is for Heath. I'm playing it fair here. Listen. How many? Heath, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, it's a competition, baby. I'm going to kick your ass. Right. I like your nails. All right. So what do you got? She's got four. Four. Five. Very Correct. good. Jim, oh, we're close. Jim, Cremota, Dante, Showstopper, and at Sadelco. I hate you, motherfucker. That was, you were close. What is Jim? We used, to, we used to text each other every morning saying Jim question mark oh. to see if we wanted to go to the gym at that time. But one day there was a typo where it said G Y M B <laughs> question mark. It was Jim. <laughs> So, so we all started, where is that tatted on your it's body? It's on my thigh. I've never Listen. noticed that. Well, it's because it's under the two under other ones. It looks like a shopping. It looks like a grocery Listen, list. I have to say it. I can't even be mad mm -mm. because I see his naked body a lot more than you do now. Okay, that's t TMI. But <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that about these guys. You love how, how what? Many, you love what? How many tattoos do I have? Two. None. <laughs> Very good. What is Zane's second to last Instagram post? What the fuck? <laughs> well, it's funny, Mom, because you, you like all my David's pictures. David's Super Bowl party. Uh, Zane took photos at Zane's Super Bowl okay. party. And you, Heath? You just posted the one with Promoter. Todd. It Mom, was, you already picked. It was a slideshow <laughs> of really funny pictures of you. A slideshow of really funny pictures of me? Yeah. And okay. then you, what? The second to last one. Okay. Second to last Super Bowl party. Well, none of you got none of you got it right. Oh. the The answer is oh. it's a picture of Zane holding Todd. I forgot you posted Cremota. Yeah, that is very not <laughs> fuck. I had that shit too. I didn't want to do the last one because I thought that'd be way too easy to get give out. How long ago there was this picture taken? That was taken months ago. Okay, that was the, I, yeah. the music video. For I, yeah, Scott. that's old. I, I need very to, old. I need to post more. I felt, I felt, so I I felt a little left out. <laughs> Sorry, Same. it's okay. Uh, what are two things Zane hates about himself? Hold on. I got number one. Wait, write it down, mom. Write it down. This is I got number one. This could hurt him. Be careful. She picked something that you really like about yourself. <laughs> oh, I got number one and nothing else. He's like, his penis there. size. <laughs> I'm like looking at you like, what do I hate? <laughs> <laughs> what would you hate? I absolutely know I got number one. Okay, mom, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, I absolutely know this one. Oh, God. Now, are we doing physical attributes or? Well, that's what I was thinking. I was. Zane didn't put his second response on the show. I didn't put my second response. That, we're going to have hey, a little fun Heath? with that one. 
Just fucking answer. All right, <laughs> Wait. all right, all right. All right, all right. You got it, Heath. Okay. I'm going to pick my favorite one for the second answer. Okay, so, Heath, you got it. Yeah. All right, Sherry, what are the two things Zane, Zane likes least about himself? Zane always says he hates that he feels like his face looks like a pieces. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> do I look like a muppet? Do I look like a do pizza? I look like a muppet? Do I look like a pepperoni pizza? Oh yeah, what's the second one? <laughs> he said one. He said two. I, no, I, it was two. There I'll, were two. I'll say mine, real but quick. I only have one. Um, I'm gonna go with your hair and your butter teeth. <laughs> <laughs> not, the, not the adjective before. <laughs> I could have just put teeth. <laughs> oh my god, he. He says it. I will not allow you to speak of my son. Okay. I thought you guys loved each other. All right, I'm going to give that to Heath because um, it was funny and he was right with my, my hairline. So, <laughs> do I look like that's wrong for you again, mom? Do I look like my a pizza face, mom. That was like that was high school. <laughs> no, that was middle school. That was his nickname in middle I've school. I've never heard you. Like, <laughs> I'm going to gouge your eyes out, Heath. All right, just if I get mom, it right, was, if I get it right, just start giving her the answer. Mom, like, give her. <laughs> My mom was that so way she confident. doesn't kick my ass after this. Wait, okay. remember how confident my mom was? Oh, with I got number one. Oh, baby. I got number one. Baby. You remember the pizza place? <laughs> what? Look at me. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just crazy. I've never heard you like complain about that. No, I, I I have never complained about it in the past fifteen <laughs> years of my life. This was this was middle school. But I get it. I but this was this was something that people called me at, like okay. when, like when they were making Fuck fun you. of you. You said this to me like two months ago. <laughs> okay. Mom, you're lying. All right. Okay. Next. I said I don't like my pizza face. <laughs> um, okay. Right. If Zane had any sauce in the world in front of him and some chicken nuggets, what sauce would he be dipping in? I want to mm. play. It's best friend versus mom. It's not best friend versus best other best friend. Best friend. And mom. <laughs> Aww. Oh, you, you think you're, you're right. You're third tier. <laughs> oh, so very cute. Sherry, do we have an answer? Yes. Okay. Mariah, Sherry. do you have an answer? <laughs> Barbecue. Sherry. Okay. What's your answer? Ketchup. What's your answer? Ketchup. Very good. Barbecue <laughs> hates barbecue. Hates barbecue sauce. <laughs> <laughs> All right, which one of your kids likes barbecue? Oop. <laughs> she almost doubled down. That, you know that's negative two points right there. She almost double dipped. <laughs> <laughs> the barbecue sauce. Maddie, do you like barbecue sauce? No, oh, she hates barbecue sauce. No, Ollie. <laughs> no, no, Ollie. One out of <laughs> you were so close. Oh, somebody get her a mic. Oh, she has a lot of uh, a lot to say. A lot of animosity. Okay. Hey, Manny, just shut it. Man. <laughs> well, he, shut Heath it. Heath is doing amazing so far. Let's go to the next question. All right. Uh, the next question. Uh, name four types of doctors Zane saw last year. <laughs> oh, I can answer this. Oh, that's good. Oh, sure, mom. <laughs> There's four. <laughs> She's like, I got this. <laughs> She's just like Dr. Phil. <laughs> she saw the video with Jason. Dr. <laughs> Phil. How do you spell sushi? I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> Mom, doctor. Dr. Oz. Doc McStuffins. Well, there, you, you did list more than four. I did. Oh, yeah. He actually answered them. <laughs> That's so funny. Because he makes your appointment. Yeah. Devin's looking at the calendar. He's like. I couldn't even come up with more than two, but he just filled out the rest. Dr. Evil. <laughs> Dr. Rave. <laughs> Dr. Strange. <laughs> stupid. So stupid. Dr. Sleep. Dr. Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dumb, dude. Um, okay, I got four. You got four? All Perfect. Right. All right. Let's start with Heath. Heat, what were the four? Uh, get dogs? your fingers off your phone. <laughs> um, chiropractor. Okay. Uh, neurologist. Okay. Therapist. A thera mm. It wasn't a therapist. Psychiatrist, therapist. Oh, okay, okay. Um, and I don't know what the technical name for it is, but the ball cancer doctor. A radiation oncologist. Sherry's just you, finding out you, about all you this. You didn't have the... She's like, ball cancer. <laughs> 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 what episode did I miss? <laughs> <laughs> Sherry. Okay, that's a cancer doctor. What do you call those doctors? Oncologist. 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 Okay, yeah. what about you, mom? Hair replacement. Oh, okay. Oh. Hair doctor. Not, not this past year, though. Did Medi I say this year? Medical. Yeah. Uh, yes, a primary doctor, yes. Primary. Ortho. Okay. And neurology. Okay. 
Um, Heath got more right than you. <laughs> the question was for this year. Did you say hairology? No, urologist. Oh. Urologist. You saw urologist. A, did you see a urologist? What's a urologist again? They study your urine. You couldn't have. Oh seen, no! You couldn't have seen a cancer specialist without a urologist. Or no, I went. I went to an oncologist. I went straight to an oncologist. He probably did a urine sample there. Maybe they did like a. We'll call that a tie. It's a tie. Yeah, it's we'll a tie. Okay, okay, All right, okay, we'll okay. give it. For to the him. record, he's fine. No ball. Oh cancer. yeah, no ball cancer. He's fine. I had a I had a quick scare, and a, I saw a lot of TikTok ads. So, what were the last two countries Zane went to? I'll give you both a hint. If I was going out of the country, you would know. All right, so let's start with Sherry. Sherry. The only thing that I can think of is Mexico. Okay. That's it. That's all I got. <laughs> well, Sherry. Oh, <gasps> uh, wait. Well, let's see what Heath has. Heath. Canada. Mm -hmm. Correct. Which we were all I there had together. No yeah. fucking idea you went to Canada. <laughs> oh, you really? Were, you were, you there. were there, Mom. You were there. We, we landed yeah, our cruise trip. in Vancouver, Canada. Oh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> you were there. I was in Canada with you, Sherry. Huh? Again, you both know I was in these countries. Okay, and now what was the other country? Uh, I had um, when he went to the UK. Oh. Very good. Oh. When did you go to the <laughs> For the Olympics, mom. I was there for I'm a like, month and a half. That was like fucking eight years ago. That was ago. the last, was last time I left the country. Oh. I, 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 feel, I feel bad. It was you got to be more specific. <laughs> no. That's the, whole, that's the whole point of these questions. You both, you both knew I went out of the country. Matt. That was like eight, I didn't nine years ago. Cherry, I didn't write these. Mom, that's what that's, You're coming after the wrong Mom, guy that's here. what makes these that's what makes these questions so fun. They're supposed to be very, very hard. Don't hate the host, hate the game. <laughs> it's the end of the day. High school just got out. Where is Zane going? High school just got out. <laughs> yeah, high school just, just got out. School day. Where, where am I going? Home, bitch. You ain't got no friends. <laughs> <laughs> My mom is exhausted. Where? <laughs> I need a fucking drink. <laughs> Ellis. Good job. All right. Is it both Ellis? It's Very correct. Good. Ella's house is where Zane is going. All El right. Ellis Island. Next question. <laughs> Aside from plantation, what city has Zane spent the most time in? In Florida. In Florida. Fort Lauderdale. Coral Springs. Oh. Very good. <laughs> not at your dad's. Fuck you. That is not correct. You said that other than not. plantation. Fort Lauderdale. Why Fort Lauderdale? Because all your friends are in Fort Lauderdale. Mom, you have to think. <laughs> uh, How much time am I spending? Okay. At daddy's. Next question is where well, did. I don't, I don't want to play My no mom more. is getting upset. <laughs> Should we not? Are we done? We're done. Oh, we're, we're done. done. <laughs> so let's, let's, give her, let's give her something she will definitely okay. know. So my mom my mom skipped the first season of Euphoria. She watched the entire second season yesterday. You watched the entire second season? With Madison how, yesterday. How was it? I liked it. Who is your favorite character on Euphoria? <laughs> <laughs> who who do you identify with the most? Like your younger version of self. I'm getting hot. None of them. None of them? Yeah. Maybe like Alexi, huh? No. Oh, okay. Not Lexi. I don't even know if she. Cassie knows. for sure. Who do you think's the hottest? Cal. <laughs> You're definitely the Cal type. Think. Mm -hmm. I like Fit. Who? Fit. Who? Who? Fit. <laughs> Fez. I love Fit. <laughs> you, you like Fez? It's okay if you don't know their names. It's just, just that's the. It, that's but the. It's, <laughs> it's also funny. The drug dealer. Devin, Devin, can you pull these up so I can just wait, like have wait, like wait, an wait. idea? Cal is a drug dealer. No, Cal's oh, fit. Snake fit. Or Fez. <laughs> As. You said Cal. I said Cal. Cal is the dad. I like them not as their character. <laughs> what did we think about the last episode? It's a hot mess. I agree. It really is. <laughs> um, it's um. But do you feel like if you were Maddie and you <laughs> had the tape, would you have leaked it, or do you think it was like bad for her to just let Nate have it? No, she hasn't the seen right anything. thing is not to leak it. And do you think, okay, the right thing is not to leak it. Do you think it was messed up that Cassie slept with Nate behind Maddie's back when yes. they were broken up? Yes. Yeah, I, I think so it's too. big no, no, you don't do that. Wait, how do you think, do you think Maddie should fight Cassie or just not be friends anymore? Just not be friends. I think that's a very mature thing to do, Mom. Yeah. Okay, do you, okay, do you think it was right of Nate to bring the DVD to Jules? And I would say my opinion Yes, in a way. I think it was noble, Why but I still I question his intentions. But that's the thing is he does not want his 
Never mind. You give your opinion. No, I think he should have brought it to her. Yeah. Why don't you just break because the CD and throw it away? That's what because I was thinking. I was going to just say break the, same. the CD. Why even give it to her where she's going to watch it again? And it's going to probably give her fucking nightmares for the next. You know what I mean? Just mm. break yeah, the CD and throw it away. Can prevent anybody else from seeing it. What do you mean? That's hers. Now she has it's it, her. but, but it's her. But, but didn't she he didn't, also say she didn't it? give consent for him to? I know, do which that. is awful. So if I was Nate, I'd be, I would go to be like, hey, by the way, I re I destroyed that CD, so it's you'll never see it again. No. Do you remember? And I'm sorry, you didn't see the first season. Do you remember when he met up with her and he says, "Still, you can be in possession of child pornography, even if it's of you." Remember he said that? And do you think he's setting her up to have possession of I the totally child? I totally forgot or... about that part. But because didn't he say something towards the end of the scene where he goes, do you remember what I said about this? Yeah. She was like, yeah. But, and then oh. it almost seems like she was kind of into it watching it, putting that out there. Now, if Zane was cast on Euphoria as one of these characters, who do you think he would play? <laughs> Oh, we're going to end this episode here, Wait, guys. Thank you so uh, much. Zane, I still want to talk. <laughs> okay, my one final thing. Oh. It, the, 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 the lens, the, the spy lens that was on the alarm camera. I don't know about that. I think that one's a reach. You saw, did everybody else see I don't the spy th camera that was on the alarm clock in the house that Maddie was uh, I didn't notice sitting. it. I didn't yeah, notice it. Wait, they zoomed, what? Yes, yeah. they did. They, oh, you they, didn't see it. What? No, they the zoomed alarm, in on it. The alarm clock when she's putting on that purple dress, they, and it zooms in on the alarm clock. She goes, "I'll be there in 15 minutes." It's like 9:42 or something. There is a spy camera on the lens. So then I thought there was gonna be a huge confrontation. The chick was nicer. Act like it was no big That's deal. Foreshadowing for the future, then. I if they even mm. get around to it, because this whole fucking show was God foreshadowing. How did I miss that? Actually, I think uh, Maddie caught that. What was your favorite part of the last night's episode? The, uh, when Nate, he was the when he didn't want to tell the girl about it, mm -hmm. and they, <laughs> they, so they they got into that argument, right? Yeah. Um, and then so they got into the fight, and then they had like hot, heated uh, fight sex. Oh, I, close. Who, who's your? <laughs> I literally have no. Who's your favorite character? You think that you could see yourself a lot in them? Oh, and, Fazco. Yeah. Yeah. Not funny, I Rube. bet. Fezco. Yeah, he's he's like the just the biggest drug dealer in the show. Uh, well, <laughs> Sherry, could we say a tell him? <laughs> <laughs> let's do it, mom. Go, go. Tell him. Very good. <laughs> okay. All right, let's end this shit right now. I'm hot. That was such, a, that was such a fun episode. Would you consider yourself like Zane's muse? He's <laughs> mine. I don't even know what that means. means. What does that mean? In Uncle mean, Jams. Jams. Uncle Jams. Do you know what I mean? Things like that. Whoa. Uncle Jams. S sorry, you know Sherry. I mean? You wouldn't get it. I wouldn't. <laughs> You'll survive without it. Uncle Jams. So she was, uh, she was doing an interview and she was talking about Uncle Jams. Like the movie that she was in. What the fuck with... did you just call the movie <laughs> Uncle Jen? Oh, <laughs> all right, guys, that's it for today's oh, I episode. I thought he was being funny. <laughs> all right, that's it. All right, we love you guys so much. Make sure to check out the audio Uncle every Jen. single Monday on Spotify, Apple, however you listen. So Video every single Tuesday, youtube.com slash Zane and Heath. We got Cremota Coffee, CremotaCoffee.com. Make sure to try it. We got pods, we got bagged coffee, a bunch of different flavors. Make sure to check it out. Uh, thank you so much for coming on. That was a really thank fun you, Mom, episode. For taking the time we really I love appreciate you. it i love you too and Sorry. check out and check out the the movie not uncle buck but uncle, uncle john <laughs> uncle john <Jams. laughs> uncle john sorry you for kicking your mean? ass things like that it didn't yeah. mean anything it means you're a bad mom all right bye love you guys bye. <laughs> that was fun <laughs>